And that was exactly the sound we were looking for. As you saw at the end of that clip, the snorkel tube did its job. Um, as the siphon was going, this cup here ran out of water and it allowed air to suck up into the bell siphon and break the siphon. Now, I'm just filling this up with a hose right now. Uh, I do not have a pump connected. You saw me create this larger size shroud to keep my media away from it. So I think all of that's gonna work out great. Uh, again, this is where the pump inlet is going to come in to the barrel. Obviously, I've gotta fill this up with media. I just put new zip ties on here. And as you can see, down here, all of the water, we just siphon down here. And there we go. There's the reducer to the bottom of that bell siphon and the siphon has successfully broken. Now, it looks like the better bell siphon design is definitely a winning design, and I think this is gonna work great for my needs. Now, I did just purchase a whole bunch of solar equipment. I got a solar panel, I got a battery, like a marine battery, I got a dry case to put it in, um, I've got all of the connections and fittings that I need to hook this up, to solar so i'm going to do a dc pump connected to a battery connected to a solar panel and i've decided to do it by the side of the house here because after walking around for a few days this does seem to be the sunniest place all day long it does get direct sunlight so i'm going to test it out right here um, i might add a second barrel to this i'll have to see it's actually starting to rain i'm going to cut this video off but i'm super excited that the bell siphon works, the better bell siphon works. And I'm looking forward to filling this thing up with media and getting some plants going. I also have some goldfish to uh, put down here in the bottom. So in the coming weeks, it's gonna be warm enough at night that I'll be able to move those out here as well. So stay tuned for updates on this project. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.